Hey everybody, this is a video from JTAG Glow on TTG and Zen and JTAG on Game Shoots. Um, just a quick video showing you how to tweak your laser or replace your laser for your Samsung or Hitachi. Um, drives are very similar but obviously different um, PCBs. For tweaking the laser on a Hitachi or Samsung, the, the pot, you can't really see it on this blinding light, is underneath it's just about there it's that one there I can't really see it it's the one on the right just like on the light on and BenQ but it's underneath okay now how you get to it is you have to remove the PCB again this is easier with one two hands there's a little clip there you basically just push it back and then out it pops and then you remove each of the ribbons gently, pulling them out gently. Now, the, the ribbon that connects the laser and the PCB will actually be glued to the other side of the PCB. Um, it's only like a glue, adhesive glue, so you don't have to worry about it ripping the ribbon off. Just pull it off gently, or just leave it on altogether. You don't need to actually worry about removing that and you can get to the pot now this is how you get to the pot and again you want to tweak it no more than a millimeter at a time maximum of six millimeters on either side of the original point just memorize memorize where the pot was where it actually was you use a, a flathead screwdriver to tweak it um, but again if you're only tweaking it a maximum of six millimeters i mean it, get a ruler if you don't know what a millimetre actually looks like and if you're tweaking it no more than that you should be able to work out the original point just by tweaking it the six millimetres back so remember six, maximum six millimetres either side but again for precision use a multimeter but I imagine most of you people out there won't have one so this is just a quick quick do-it-yourself guide okay so that's how you tweak the laser for removing it turn that to the one side there's a little screw this is a Hitachi drive it won't be much different on the Samsung except the screw is hidden well it's not hidden but it's encased by this big black thing black knob yeah there's a joke for you there Mars and then you just again just remove that screw slide the laser off remove it from the bar remove the clip attach it all to your new laser and then pop it in and away you go or you can get another Hitachi drive if you've got you know another spare Xbox or you managed to get a spare drive you can remove this PCB and put it in your replacement drive it is essential that you keep the PCB if you have no way of retrieving the key from the PCB from the drive to put on the new drive You've always got to keep your PCB and put it into your new drive. If you just switch drives around, it will not work. Okay, you'll just have an expensive DVD player. Every drive is married to its Xbox via a key, unique key code. Use a program and use a PC to extract that key. If you don't know how or if you don't want to learn how, just make sure you keep the PCB. It's the same with the light-ons and BNQ drives. Obviously, these ca these cables are actually soldered directly to the board. So a little bit more um, into that one um, than just switching over the PCBs. There's a bit more involved in switching over the PCBs on the light on the BNQ light drives. But with the Samsungs and the Hitachis, it's just this PCB, and you remove the ribbons and pop pop this, take this board out and stick it in a drive that you know that works. Okay. So that's an alternative to replacing the laser. If you somehow manage to get a spare drive, you just switch around the PCB. Remember which one is, belongs to your Xbox. Write on it if you have to. Put a sticker on it. And put that into your new drive. Okay. So after all that, you should have a working Xbox 360 drive. Um, just follow, follow the steps. Repeat the steps in a reverse. Reverse the steps you just mate got done to put their back together okay guys i've run out of steam now so that's why it's my, my <laughs> that's why i can't speak all right
hope you enjoyed the vids as always rate comment subscribe give us a thumbs up if it helps okay thanks guys bye